Today I'm gonna to take you through some everyday items that are cheap and are gonna make your life a lot easier in the reefing hobby. Let's go. What's up coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy and this is the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know whenever I post new videos. Welcome to another five minute Friday, where it's never actually a five minute video, but that's okay. This one might actually be close. Today I'm gonna to share with you some of the items that I use in the hobby that aren't necessarily meant for reefing. There are several items that you can purchase from places like Amazon or Dollar Tree or Ikea that are very useful in the reefing hobby, but you don't have to pay that reefing hobby price. Number one, the one item that I get at Dollar Tree the most is super glue, gel. This stuff is awesome. It's not gonna be your friend if you're like doing a mass fragging event or anything like that, but uh, for just fragging here and there, it's good to have this stuff on hand. You can get usually two tubes for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And if you can't find it at Dollar Tree, you don't have a Dollar Tree near you, I think it's like five to 10 cents more per tube on Amazon, but you can get a 12 pack. I'll leave that link in the description. Also bonus, I didn't, I didn't put this on the list, but you can get like Tupperware and like bowls and bins and pitchers and things like that at Dollar Tree as well. So you're not paying that like Bed Bath & Beyond price. So a couple pitchers, a couple bucks. Now you can move water without spilling it all over the place. Number two. Makeup brushes. You can get a cheap pack of makeup brushes on Amazon for like 10, 15 bucks or so, and they'll give you like 20 different kinds of brushes. I've had this pack for several years now, and I haven't gone through all of them, but these brushes are nice. Like a, like a tip like this is perfect for getting around zoophrags or cleaning up frag plugs or getting detritus out of stuff, but not actually disturbing the coral because they're nice and soft. They even have these fun ones where like the end is super, super small. So you can get into really tight spaces as well. Just make sure you inspect these over time because the collar is usually some sort of metal and it will rust. Just wanna make sure that you uh, dispose of those as need be. They're pretty cheap, so. Number three, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I'll offer you this advice. Do not buy the Mr. Clean brand of magic erasers. Do yourself a favor and search melamine sponges on Amazon. So for five or $6, you can get the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers and you get like two or three of them, or you can spend $12 and get 50. It's the same thing, literally the same exact thing. I, I don't know how and why people spend so much money for those Mr. Clean magic erasers. These are good for getting tough algae off of aquarium surfaces. Uh, they're perfect. And then, you know, if you break it or it gets worn out, you can just toss it and you don't feel bad because you didn't spend a ton of money on them. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description below if you wanna purchase you know, stuff like this. Number four, pipettes. These pipettes are so good for so many things in the hobby. One of my favorite things to do is I chop off the end of a pipette just a little bit to make it a, the hole a little bit bigger and then you can, you can suck up like frozen food and disperse it throughout the tank. You can target feed things if you need to, but it's nice because you're, you're just targeting a little area and your food's not flying all over the tank. And I don't know, these are just great for that. And dosing, if you don't need to dose a bunch, maybe just here and there, you can have a designated pipette for each thing. Like I've got one for Neo Nitro that I use on the Pico tank. I just take it, get a couple milliliters in there and you're good. These are three milliliter pipettes and I'll leave a link. You can get like, I don't know, a hundred or something for two or three bucks. Good to have around. Number five, plastic mesh. Uh, it's kind of that 
rigid yet malleable mesh that you will find in craft stores. I don't have any on hand right now, but these are great for dividing fish tanks up. Maybe you've got several pairs of clownfish, or maybe you wanna guard your overflows because anemones like to go on roller coaster rides in your overflows. Another great idea for this kind of mesh is a DIY algae scrubber. This is like what my friend Ben has. He rigged up his own. You basically just drip water down it off a manifold, throw a light on it, and boom, you got yourself a DIY algae scrubber with just a couple things. It really just goes to show that if you're resourceful and look for alternative ways to use things that you might use in your everyday life and the reefing hobby, you could save yourself a lot of money. I wanna know, what's an everyday item that you use that wasn't necessarily meant for the hobby? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for joining me on another Five Minute Friday, powered by the Reef News Network. You ever find out your kids are learning like weird stuff in school? I found out that my five-year-old, she's in kindergarten, learned how to do rock, paper, scissors in gym class. Like this was an actual lesson and she came home and now all we do is play rock, paper, scissors all the time. And just a tip, it's just as hard to lose as it is to win. Mind blown. Hey, uh, stay safe. Go wipe some things with, you know, some sponges and I'll see you for the next one.